Hey, this is Dosti here with Chris Valiente of 22 Designs. And um, let's see, what have you been involved with? The Hammerhead. Oh, you first yeah. got involved with uh, bindings with yeah, the Hammerhead. Take that over from Russell Rainey. Right, with the uphill. And then um, what else? Uh, so that became the oh, axle, the axle, a free heel. Yeah, we uh, kind of came up with that. And then know, what, the bombshell? Well, bombshell, then axle, and then the vise, which, you know, replaced, effectively replaced the hammerhead, you know, more, a little simpler, more durable. Um, after that was the Outlaw X, Outlaw, and then Outlaw X. Right. And, uh, and then the Lynx. The Lynx. Okay. Yeah. And, and so part of the reason I'm here, so uh, I'm doing a quick little vacay to Jackson Hole. Which Dusty's is view on the road. Yeah, yeah, we're on the road here. And so since I was in the area and since my links was out of date and I needed to update it, I figured I'd just drop by, okay? So uh, I wanted to go over what's new on the links for uh, 22. And then uh, Chris is also gonna share some other things that are new in 22. and. It's interesting 22 it's 22 2022 right and but but why do you guys call yourselves 22 designs i know that but maybe. yeah yeah sure <laughs> we named it for uh wyoming highway 22 which is the road that goes over teton pass one of our favorite backcountry zones yeah and i i drove that of course to come over here and ugh, i cannot wait to go out and earn some turns this afternoon yeah there's some good snow right now yeah i mean there's a lot of tracks you you it's a if popular you, spot these days. If you didn't know, you'd be like, where's the lifts? I don't see the lifts, <laughs> yeah. but I see the tracks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's really become quite the issue. So what's different this year with the links? Yeah, so we'll start at the back here. We added this little lip, which oh, makes yeah. it but you, which Let's bring the camera in so you can see this. If you're at the top of the mountain and you don't, uh, and you don't take your ski off your foot, makes it easier to stick your pole handle under there and just pop that up. Oh, uh, yes. You know, so you no, don't need to take your Don't need off. to step out. Yeah. And then we uh, we added an outer chamfer on the on the arms here, kind of shave a little weight, slim it down a little bit. How many micrograms did you save there? <laughs> I didn't measure that yet. <laughs> um, these, uh, these tech springs, you can tell they're a little shinier and they're also a little stiffer and so that'll kind of give you some good boot retention there so it's stronger yeah okay do you it still is. need to lock her out going uphill yep still want to lock it going uphill but you really don't need to on the downhill just you know we always tell folks when you step in uh if if you're at the t if you're at the top and you've gotten out of your ski or if you're skiing at the resort so once you close it, rotate, rotate that uh, binding on your boot a few times before yes. you lock in yes. back here. It's something that some you know Dinafit folks are a little more familiar with. Yeah, not telly skiers. Yeah, no, no rookies don't know that. Yeah, I I, I do it. You're, you're I've, I've done it for years, inserts. and it's religious. You just yeah. you step in and you 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 yeah you ro you lift your boot and you rotate back and forth. If it pops out, then it didn't go in. Yep. If it stays, you're good. Right. Clean it out. And then the the only other change is uh, specific to just the small links, which this is. And then we thinned up both the main and flex plates a little bit just to, to soften the feel of the binding. So I know just because uh, I was asking you earlier, the original links had, uh, what was it? It was 0.1 inch thick. And then the next generation is 0 0.115. So yeah. where are we at now? Point I, I one can't. one two. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the smalls, I think we're at ninety. Ninety. So it's even thinner than the original. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, or the original might have been ninety. I'm not. I'm not entirely. Sure. I remember re measuring it. It was okay. like it was a hundred. Okay, and then we went over a hundred. Yeah. I think the current, the larges and everything are are uh, right about at a hundred, maybe one oh four. Okay. Yeah. All right. So not huge changes, but it make it's you can feel the difference. So, well, here's the thing: it was fifteen thousandths of an inch, yeah. and it was like, whoa, yeah. that's a lot stiffer. Yeah. For so, sure. Okay. Um, you know, if folks aren't familiar with our 
coil leash that we updated a couple years ago. They're pretty sweet now, easy to hook in and out. I think this is the best one, Yeah. okay? And this is really subtle, but you'll notice it's wider than the beaner, okay? And this extra width, that diamond shape, makes it really easy to grab with your thumb. With your glove on. With your glove on, to, yeah. to, take, put, to put it on or to take it off. Whereas others, I just, I have to work, it's, it requires more dexterity, and sometimes I gotta take my glove off. Yeah. And I don't with this, exactly. so it's awesome. Now, the other thing you did um, on this. Oh the, yeah. The, so it's a, it's a thinner plate overall, but the, the tab. The outline. And uh, we changed the outline as well as, this is called the cam stop. And just to increase the durability a little more, last year's were holding up pretty well. We still, we just did still see a few cracks. Much improved if you have uh, a binding that's, you know, two or three years old. But just to, just to keep the main plates from, from splintering on the edges there. Yeah. So these are, these are super bomber. Okay, so I'm gonna go give it a test run here in a couple hours. Now, there yeah. we, you, you have something else here. Yeah, this is the kid's vice, which we introduced this year. And uh, pretty excited to just kind of have this be a big part of our work towards expanding tally amongst the, the youths. We you gotta know, bring the, the kid, kids in. The kids if we don't bring there. the kids in, it dies. I mean- You gotta grow it. You know, I'm the last generation that, that got things going and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here, but the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it's got the soft springs already installed, which is great for the smallest kids. You know, you can put it up in position one and you can get, you know, the small, the boots uh, that Scott was making go down to, what is it, 19. And that's like, that would have fit my five-year-old. So you can get some pretty small kids on these. As long as you can find the boots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We've got a size run here um, of the kids' boots as well as all the scarpas. And so when, when folks are in town, they can come grab demos. Awesome. So, and this is in Driggs, Idaho. Driggs, so it's Idaho. on the other side of the Tetons. I can't see it probably because that garage is in the way. Yeah. But there's a beautiful view of Grand Teton. Yeah. It's, oh, it's amazing. So if you have not been to the Jackson Hall area, you gotta come. Um, this is headquarters for uh, the best telemark bindings in the world. Well, Pierre makes a good one too. But, <laughs> uh. I mean, I gotta be fair, right? But, sure. But overall, as a brand, I mean, you cover the span. You got 75 millimeter, right. you got NTN, and um, if you don't like a 22 Designs binding, then you're probably still working on your telly. <laughs> and you just need to work on your telly. <laughs> I like it. So um, that's it for Dosti's View. Uh, we'll check you out next week. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. While I'm here, I'm gonna talk with Scotty McGee. Oh, nice. We're gonna do a little technique. So that'll be next week. Ah, perfect. All right, so in the meantime, hey, make sure you get out there, drop a knee, and spread telemark. Happy 2022.